I just thought I would describe what happens to some furnaces over time, the control board. Um, I have a furnace that's about 20 years old and it had a Honeywell um, board in it. And this is the original board that was in it. And you can see there's some heat that's been on this part. The board number is ST9120C5005. Um, what happens to these boards? They're 24 volt systems. And the, four re the three relays that are on the board um, when they're in a hot attic sometimes get cold solder joints underneath. So this is, I've already repaired them, but the solder joint, the ones that you can see that are kind of uh, problematic here, here and there, um, and there's two other ones here and here that they, because it's hot and the solder maybe gets a little soft, um, the wire from the vibration starts wiggling and it breaks the solder joint and then your controller quits working properly. And so they make a replacement board that I've replaced it with that is... Um, this is the board here. Looks almost the same. The only difference is there's screws at the top. This one has has uh, blade connectors, and everything else is pretty close to the same. And so I replaced with this, and the replacement is that I used was ST9120C. Um, 4057. The original was 5005. Um, and over time, I've had the same problem where the we have a cold solder joint. Again, I've already fixed it. I probably should have videoed before I fixed it to show what the cold solder joint looks like. But it gets black around the cold solder joint, and you can see that it's cracked. And so I have done this three times now on my uh, system. And so I actually have, <laughs> I already have three boards now. And it wasn't until the third one when I realized that I should just be resoldering the cold solder joints. And I've been doing that since. And it works, but it's just a pain in the neck. The other thing I've found, and I don't know if they're real good, but there is a new replacement board that Honeywell makes that's an ST9120U. And it comes with some extra cables because it's a universal board. That's what the U stands for. And um, if this cold solder joint goes out again, I will probably order that board. It runs about $150 and replace and see if it lasts any longer. So that's all about for this video. Just wanted to share this information.